Much more track and field coverage coming up momentarily, but now we go to softball. And in her first season as Bath head coach, Hannah Slavin has her team poised to win the state title, something she came up just short of as a player, as she was the Wild Kittens' top pitcher the last time they played in the state tournament 10 years ago. Prior to the semifinal win over Talmadge, Slavin's advice to this year's ace, Kimmy Reynolds, just have fun. And the Wild Kittens having fun loose during a player introductions, taking on Jonathan Alder today. Bob in the first, already down one nothing, but runners on the corner for Kara Deansberger proves to be a steely eyed missile woman. Clutch, two out base hit, plates Alyssa Manley. And when the throw gets away from the infielder, pinch runner Alex Rube comes in as well. Safe at home, 2 1 bath in front. Bottom of the second, Wildkins with runners on second and third. Jenna Holler up, wild pitch. Courtney Hellman comes in from third. 3 1 Kittens. Later in the at bat, Holler slaps one to the left side. She's safe at first. Ellie Dakin scores to make it 4 1 bat. Still in the second inning, first and third for Reynolds. And the pitcher helping out her own cause. Grounder up the middle. Holler comes across home. 5 1 bat. Wildkins not done. Deansberger again. Another two out hit. Tara Herr makes it 6 1 bat after two innings of play. Top of the fourth, Pioneers threatening. One run in, two on, but Reynolds gets the inning ending K. Ten strikeouts on the game and she is fired up. Bottom of the fifth, Cassie Best leading off with a base hit into right. Good for a double, would later score on an error. Bath with a commanding 7-2 lead. Go to the seventh, two down, pop up on the infield. Alyssa Manley calls for it. And Bath is the 2014 Division II state champ, 7-2 the final. They finish up a 29-1 season. Wildkins getting production throughout the lineup in today's victory with several members of that 2014, including Coach Laura Ford in attendance. Bath's second state title, giving Wildkins past, present, and future something to celebrate. They said that they were just so proud of these girls and um, the effort that they gave on the field. They said that they're one of the most fun teams to watch that they've seen in a long time. And um, just the energy on the field, they really appreciated. Um, they were happy that their legacy kind of stayed around and um, that we moved on from the last point, though. It's absolutely amazing. Like, with Coach Slavin being here and with these girls, like these seniors, I've played with them all four years. Like, it's absolutely amazing. I love it. It's awesome. No, I, you know, I hope we went far in the tournament, but I did not think it was going to go here. It's an honor. It's amazing. I don't even know how I feel right now. It's just so many different emotions are flying through my head, and I just, it's a great feeling, though. It's amazing. This team has just been fantastic. You know, we've been together for, well, since we were little, but, yeah. you know, we've been on this trip for a while, and, you know, at some points we wanted to kill each other, but we, we came <laughs> yeah. together and we, uh, we have a strong bond that I don't think anybody can beat. What I'm going to remember is how, like, in every single game, every one of us stepped up, and we did what we had to do, and we came out, and, and we got a state championship. You can't really forget that. <laughs>